Hey everyone, how's it going? So in the past videos about training AI models on video games, I used the uh, Linux host Ubuntu 18.04 because it was easier to uh, to set up, it was better supported. But with the recent improvements to uh, WSL Windows subsystem for Linux, has become as easy, or if not easier, to uh, to do the whole setup on Windows. So before we start, you're gonna need two things. You're gonna need either Windows 11 or uh, Windows 10 with the latest update and also an NVIDIA card with a compute capability of 2.5 and above because we're going to use TensorFlow 1.14 uh, in this video I use uh, RTX 2060 Super so it's more than enough I also tested uh, TensorFlow with uh, GTX 1060 or a variance of it so that works as well if you have a, a card of a 980 it should work I haven't tested, but it should work. And uh, even a uh, 780 should work as well. But lower than that, uh, uh, it won't be supported. Unless you can recompile TensorFlow, uh, sometimes uh, you can recompile with uh, lower uh, compute capability, but uh, I'm not sure that it's going to work uh, quite well. If you don't have uh, an NVIDIA card or an NVIDIA card that supports uh, the required compute capability or uh, you have a Intel iGPU, uh, you can use a TensorFlow DirectML. So if you have a DirectX 12 card, it should work. Um, but the performance probably won't be uh, very good because DirectML is still in very much in heavy development. And uh, they pretty much um, optimize for their specific examples. And AI models for video games are not in these examples. And I tested the performance on the on iGPUs, Intel iGPUs, and the AMD card, and the performance is not not so great. And sometimes even worse than uh, if you train on CPU. But you can still try it. Uh, they made recent improvements. I haven't tested. Uh, and um, uh, also uh, maybe your card is uh, better supported. First step is to go in the Microsoft Store to download the Ubuntu 18.04 app. So this will use uh, Hyper-V to create a Ubuntu uh, virtual machine. And you won't uh, have to install the NVIDIA drivers because you're going to use the, of course, the NVIDIA drivers on the Windows host directly. After it downloads, you can open it. The installation should be quite quick. It will ask you to create a username and a password. So after you finish setup, up, the first step is going to be to install um, CUDA. We're going to install CUDA 10. All the instructions I'm typing, uh, I'm going to put it in the link down below. Uh, so you just, you don't have to retype it, just, just can, um, you just need to copy and paste it. So basically, we're getting the CUDA repos. So once the repos are set up, we're now ready to install CUDA. And 
and it's, it's going to take um, a few minutes. So once CUDA is installed, you can check that uh, it didn't screw your drivers by typing NVIDIA SMI in the command line. So in our case, uh, it went well. And now we're ready to install the requirements before installing the, tensor, uh, the Python packages. So we're going to install the Python 3 uh, package manager and the, uh, also the FFmpeg library if you want to record videos. Now we're ready to install TensorFlow. And also, you see ProtoBuff uh, with a specific version. This is a workaround because otherwise you're gonna, the, the wheel is going to build forever. So in some cases, you need to, to roll back to a specific version. So next, we're going to install the baselines and uh, retro packages. So baseline contains the algorithms the ML algorithm such as PPO2 and uh, Retro is the, is the emulators like I said and uh, to run the games and we're going to use the forks I made so we keep, basically baseline fix contains the fix that uh, doubles the performance with Retro games uh, there's more explanation on my GitHub and also Stable Retro contains uh, it's my fork as well which contains more more games so there's more supported games after that um, you're going to need to copy ROMs in your home folder so to access the, the um, Ubuntu 804 uh, file system it's quite easy you have a, a Linux section and you just drag and drop the files or open the files you want so you can drag uh, your, your ROMs there. So next, uh, we're going to cd into the ROMs folder and import the ROMs. Next, we're going to test our setup. We're going to use the PPO2 algorithm and the WWF WrestleMania arcade game for Genesis. And after that, we're going to play back our model. The performance is surprisingly good compared to the um, native uh, Ubuntu host. It's about the same, just slightly below, maybe a couple of percent below, but mostly uh, you won't notice the difference. Here you can see the CPU and GPU usage. Um, as you can tell, you're going to need a, a good CPU because it needs to, to run multiple instances of the emulator in parallel to keep the GPU uh, fed fast enough. One thing you can do if you want to maximi maximize the performance of your uh, setup is to run two Ubuntu instances in parallel and uh, so you make sure that your GPU is uh, fed all the time. So here you, you see the model being played back on 40 instances of the game in parallel. 
So this is this uses the X window protocol, and it supports supports it out of the box, so it's quite convenient. Uh, if you have uh, graphical applications that uh, run on Ubuntu, uh, that said, uh, not not everything works perfectly. Uh, for for uh, instance, the the game editor uh, that comes with uh, OpenAI Retro package uh, to be able to to edit the reward function and um, other aspects of the environment, uh, it doesn't work. Uh, you see a black screen actually, so. Uh, for this, you need uh, either on the uh, Linux virtual machine uh, or using Hyper-V or, um, or directly on the Linux host, unfortunately. So that's it. Um, as you notice, I skipped a lot of details on the AI model training part, especially how to save a model, how to, uh, to uh, render a video. That's because it's exactly the same as uh, on the Linux host. Uh, so you can check out my other videos for it. I will put the link down below in the description. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks. See you next time.